There are many key efforts being made at the IDRC to foster research and knowledge in pediatric diabetes and metabolic disorders. So one of the strengths of the uh, IDRC is that we have both a very strong basic science component and a very strong translational component. We don't have, at this point in time, uh, funding from the National Institutes of Health. But um, what we do are um, uh, engage uh, a variety of different organizations. We have uh, really strong relationships with a number of donors and philanthropic organizations. Uh, one in particular is the Riley Children's Foundation, affiliated with Riley Children's Hospital, which is one of the leading children hospitals in the U.S. One of the major efforts that the IDRC has done is to collaborate with investigators at Purdue University, and in particular the Ingestive Behavior Research Institute, which is internationally known for its work. And by bringing that group into the IDRC, we expand our capabilities to both understand um, the consequences of diabetes, but also why people become obese and develop diabetes. We have um, a number of groups who study islet biology. Uh, we have a wealth of expertise in, uh, in the pathways that regulate insulin sensitivity. Um, and also we have a growing interest in trying to understand how the immune system uh, is activated and uh, contributes to metabolic disease. We have a variety of microscope systems. We have all the typical microscope systems you have in a biomedical research institution. But the major thing that's really exciting that we have here is something called two-photon microscopy. The advantage of a two-photon microscope is that you can look inside living animals, and that's a really, really cool thing. Being able to look inside a living animal means you can actually evaluate the functions of cells, the behaviors of cells in situ. A lot of what we know about the human brain and its reward system comes from the study of drugs uh, such as alcohol and illicit drugs and uh, how the brain signals rewarding sensations and the rewarding association. So what we're trying to do is to translate that knowledge from these uh, more powerful reinforcers to food reward and try to understand the differences between an obese brain and a lean brain and how the brain signals uh, in its reward pathway. So one of the main areas of research in our lab is to try to understand how the beta cell fails in both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And uh, one thing that we're particularly interested in is the regulation of calcium homeostasis in the beta cell. Um, and uh, specifically, we want to understand how dysregulation of calcium in the endoplasmic reticulum contributes to the pathophysiology of diabetes. I have a project involving vascular and metabolic dysfunction where we are looking at the role of glucagon-like peptide 1 in modulating heart metabolism. We think that this has a role in how the heart is resistant to ischemia and maybe also helping understand how diabetes contributes to congestive heart failure. The research that I do has um, a great deal to do with translating findings from clinical research into the community or into doctor's offices to make them aware of our research findings so that the general public can take advantage of the discoveries that are being made. New uh, developments uh, that the uh, IDRC research has uh, made include uh, a couple of different biomarker studies that the Analyte Core has been able to help with. We've uh, been able to help investigators study hormone changes following weight loss uh, with bariatric surgery. We've also been involved in, in developing other uh, assays for uh, use in measuring biomarkers for various different therapeutic uh, interventions. The history of the IDRC includes contributions to large projects that have had a strong impact on care in diabetes and diabetes prevention. One of those is the Diabetes Control and Complications Trial, and then uh, the Diabetes Prevention Program, which is ongoing now in its 15th or 16th year. So we have a large group of investigators here that, that are really committed to sort of bringing these concepts into the community. So we, we work with um, uh, other investigators here in our center who um, focus on uh, ways to deliver healthcare better um, in the area of diabetes. Um, we engage the community by giving talks and um, going to high schools, going to um, other colleges in the area. I think one of the things that we really hope to achieve in the next six years is to have a, a bigger impact, not just in, in the research community, but actually in the community itself. Uh, we're looking at the next generation of diagnostics to identify diabetes even before it occurs. We are addressing the diabetes 
epidemic on all fronts.